All right. When we come back, Ty Sparrow will join yours truly. We'll get you set for the kickoff between the Wildcats and the Cowboys. Here early in the second quarter, scoreless game. Hulk has three receivers to the near side. Jordan Clemente split out to the far side. That's been his top target all season long. They need to reach the 17-yard line to hang on to the football. Three-man rush for McNeese State as Hoke takes the snap. Now here comes the blitz, so they get him in the end zone for a safety. Or did the ball come loose? Yeah. The ball may have come loose. It did. Hoke got hit, and the ball dropped and just sat there. It didn't move at all. Thank goodness Weber State was able to pick it up. His carry is in there. He'll carry it himself and get into the end zone. So carry, the wide receiver, lines up at quarterback in the Wildcat formation, ironically enough. And he carries it over the right side for the touchdown. Third and goal from the five. Back to throw. Stroud with time. Takes off running up the middle, and he will dance into the end zone. And again, barely laid a hand on him. Hoke looking over that defense in the shotgun. Booker stays in the block. There's the throw. There's the touchdown. Touchdown. Touchdown on the slant pattern to Shaden Quijano. That's exactly what Coach Hammer needs to do. Also, it's first and 10 at the 26. And here's Hope with play action throwing. And it is picked off. Oh, he threw it behind his receiver. And it's picked off inside the 10 by Guy Morgan. But this time, uh, McNeese, uh, you know, good defense and hangs in there and gets a pick. First and 10 from the nine on the end of the round with the wide receiver down the far sidelines. He may go midfield, 30, 20. The Wildcats will not catch him. It's a 91-yard run by Deontay Spencer on the end of the round. Boy, oh boy, talk about a reversal of fortunes. Stroud back of the gun, fumbles the football. Wildcats have it. He fumbled the snap, and Danny Malarkey fell on top of the football. Big, big play for the Cowboys, who lead it 21 to seven. Stroud to throw to the end zone, wide open. It's an easy touchdown. Looked like busted coverage back there as the receiver was all alone in the back of the end zone. You couldn't have made it any easier for McNeese. Yeah, Weber State tried to bring a blitz on this time. Obviously, in the past, we talked about them only rushing three and him having all day to sit back there. This time, they go with the other strategy. They bring some pressure. And there is the victory formation as Cody Stroud will step back, take a knee. And Jody Sears and his team head across the field to shake hands with Matt Viador and the McNeese State Cowboys who will host Weber State next year down in Lake Charles, Louisiana. And hopefully it will be a different result for the Cowboys on that night. But tonight the Wildcats fall by the final score of 35-21.